Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I wanted to get some information out to the public as a warning, but not something for you to panic over. So I wanted to bring to your attention, there is a Grid X drill going on today and tomorrow. And Grid X drills have been going on for quite a while. Usually nothing happens, most of it is simulations. And so this is just specifically a warning in case something does happen, especially with the things that are going on in Paris right now. It's already been established there was a drill before the terrorist attack. Um, no one has been able to confirm nor deny whether the, the actual drill went live or not, but they have been able to confirm that there was a drill going on at the time that the terrorist attack was going on in Paris and that is why they were able to get to the scene so quickly. So with everything going on crazy around the globe right now, I want to share this, especially with all of the sensitivity and threats that are going on around the world. I want people to be aware that there is a drill today and tomorrow on the electric grid. The one thing that I found interesting about this Grid X3 document was it did not just include simulations like most of the time, and I will show you what I am talking about. Now, the Grid X objectives obviously is to exercise crisis response and recovery, improve communication, identify lessons learned, and engage senior leadership. Apparently, that is the most important part of this drill or this exercise. So what is it? It is a North American-wide exercise conducted every two years. The purpose is to strengthen the industry's capability to respond and to recover from simulated severe security events affecting the bulk power system. Who? NERC registered entities and others as determined by individual entities. Example, law enforcement, local governments, and suppliers. It is voluntary and not mandatory. Now it says it's simulated, but if you notice it says how. It is simulated cyber and physical attacks that degrade bulk power system op operations. So the physical part is what I want to focus on. And this is also why I am resharing this document. Not so much for the simulated part, but because of the physical part. This drill is going to be happening across North America. It's not only within the United States, but it is also going to be happening in Canada and Mexico. So that is also a warning going out to our Canadian and Mexican brothers and sisters. One of the reasons that I found this important to get out to you all is number three. Number three right here, improved handling of simultaneous attacks, which is what we're seeing in Paris, France right now. Cyber, physical, and coordinated events to include active shooters. That sounds like exactly what's going on in Paris right now. Coordinated events, including active shooters across France. So I wanted you to be aware that this is a regional focus. Sounds a lot like NAU or North American Union type of idea. I want to scroll down and I'm going to go to their charting. One of the other things that I found a little odd and it's not meant in any derogatory way at all but that the local fbi which you will see local state provincial government emergency management operations which would be like fema emergency operations centers and right here local fbi you also have the fbi listed up here ferc and the department of defense so this right here is one of the reasons that I want to get this message out, get the PDF out. That way, if anything does happen, whether it be with the power grid or whether it be with quote-unquote active shooter drills, 
We do not know if any active shooter drills are going to be going on, but if they do, then you have been forewarned and you already know what's really going on. The Department of Energy, of course, is included because they are the ones who are the ones who ensure that our electric grid is stable, which we all know <clears throat> it is not. So I'm going to scroll down. And I want to show you something about active organization really quick. It's saying on the large scale, there's one lead planner with multiple other planners developing numerous custom injects. 10, 50, and 100 plus players across multiple departments functions executing crisis response procedures. Now, if this is a simulation, fine. Um, but just be warned, it, it may be an active drill and as you saw earlier it would be simultaneous active shooter drills going on at one time active organization the small one lead planner using generic and a few custom injects several players across a few departments functions executing crisis response procedures Okay, you have contact information on here. I want to scroll down. I've also noticed that this mapping uh, of the United States of America, this was a previous GRID-X 2013 participation program. This is, had 234 organizations that were involved in it. Um, I find it interesting that they're not placing in there the individuals who are actually going to be involved with the 2015 participation of this drill. So this is also another thing to look at because if there was nothing to it, then why wouldn't they uh, distribute the 2015 mapping which shows everyone who is involved with it. Okay, also in 2013, you can see there was 234 organizations and 2,000 plus individuals that were involved. 2015, we're looking at 250 plus organizations that are involved and 4,000 plus individuals. So, that's something definitely to keep an eye on. The... Continuing evolution of this, one of the things to also focus on, it says exercise timely real world scenarios. Well, yeah, that makes sense as long as it's not more active shooter drills that the mainstream media reports as real. So, they're looking for greater state, regional, and local government participation. This is allegedly voluntary. Um, apparently, there's a lot of people who want to be involuntary with this program. So, you've got your workshop group, your portals, different things that are being shown. Um, The reliability coordinator is active with multiple entities, active within control area. Um, regional entities would only be quote unquote observing. Department of Energy will be active. Local, state, law enforcement, and emergency response active as invited by the utility. Okay, so at the very end of the document, you're going to see you've got specific dates, November 18th and 19th, Grid X3 takes place. You've also got hot wash of Grid X at Atlanta and CIPC meeting, December the 15th to the 16th, and March of 2016, the Grid X after action reports will be published. I hope that uh, this video has been helpful. I do ask that you 
reshare this, not as fear mongering and not as um, calling for anything that it is not. However, it is good for everybody to be warned, to know in advance what is going on, so that if anything does happen um, during this drill, they already know what's going on and it cannot be propagandized into something that it is not. Um, so like I said, if you would, please reshare this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and this information. And if not, give me a thumbs down. Thank you. God bless you. And Semper Fi.